So uh, what I discussed at my presentation was firstly that quantum computers are coming. We're uh, very actively building them because we think they can solve many important problems for humanity. However, to be a positive milestone for humanity, we have to first make sure we're resilient to quantum attacks. And so that's, that was uh, the second part of my talk, which is about the long path to making our cyber systems resilient to quantum attacks. And very importantly, if we do so proactively and as part of life cycle management, we'll have a much stronger, safer technology infrastructure. If on the other hand, we are reactive and rush at the last minute, we'll have a much more vulnerable cyber infrastructure. So the main challenge is that it, it decimates the very foundations of our entire technological infrastructure. So it's, not, it's a very profound change that needs to be made at the very low level, but it's also a very challenging effort to migrate this, this very complicated, ever-evolving ecosystem of technologies to be using the same cryptographic algorithms. That, that can easily be a 10 to 20 year migration if everyone is working together toward it. Um, so while quantum computers are still a few years away, it really doesn't leave us much time to, to responsibly and sort of safely migrate the very foundations of our security and technology infrastructure. HSMs are a very fundamental piece of our security and technology infrastructure. So we definitely need to make sure they're resilient to quantum attacks, and they can also be a pillar and anchor for the whole ecosystem to migrate to new quantum safe algorithms. So quantum computers are coming, and the reason people are building quantum computers is because they'll solve important problems for humanity. But in order for quantum computation to be a positive milestone in human history, we have to first make sure our cyber systems are safe against quantum attacks. Now that's a very difficult and challenging task and it requires many years of, of planning, of preparation, of research, testing and deployment. And that's where post-quantum cryptography comes in. It'll be the new backbone of our cybersecurity infrastructure. And if we do this as lifecycle management, we'll have a new cryptographic foundation that is much stronger than it ever was before. If on the other hand we deal with this as crisis management, we'll have a much more fragile and vulnerable infrastructure. So the choice is ours, of course. The people meeting here today are all working towards taking the life cycle management approach and making our cyber and technology infrastructure safer than it ever was. Well, I like working with uh, the folk at Utamako because they're very forward thinking. They've been proactive about this field even before it was uh, becoming, uh, you know, especially apparent that one needed to work in this area. Um, yeah, they're a uh, strong research team and also you know, very pragmatic on, on uh, the practical side of the technology as well. Uh, the day so far has been uh, amazing. Uh, I mean, Brian, from, Brian Lamacchia from Microsoft gave a, an excellent overview of uh, I mean, the, the challenges that he's experienced over the years with crypto migration. Another very uh, wonderful aspect of this event is just the, the great group of uh, thought leaders uh, that have been assembled to participate in the event.